Welcome back to the Quaxi's RF Wisdom series. Today, we're diving into another fascinating video. In this section, we aim to explain the architecture of a network analyzer and delve into its functionality in performing S parameter measurements. As we will soon explore, the primary components of a network analyzer comprise the signal generator, variable attenuator, RF switch, power divider, coupler, and power detector. Let's begin with signal generation. The signal generator serves to generate a measurement signal at a specific power level and frequency. This generator sweeps across the frequency range required for the measurement. Additionally, a variable attenuator is employed to adjust the power level. An RF switch facilitates the transition between S parameter measurements. One switch position directs the signal into port 1, enabling the measurement of S11 and S21. Conversely, the other switch position routes the signal to port 2, facilitating the measurement of S22 and S12. The power divider splits the incident power and routes it to a power detector to measure the incident power's level. Finally, couplers are used for sampling the reflected and transmitted signals. Here we see a VNA architecture for measuring the S parameters. Now, Focusing on the scenario where the signal is injected into port 1, the generated signal traverses a switch and encounters a power divider, which equally splits the signal between its arms. One arm of the power divider contains a variable attenuator to adjust the power level, while the other arm connects to a detector, referred to as detector A. Subsequently, the signal from the upper arm proceeds through a coupler and interacts with port 1, where the device under test is connected. The reflected signal from port 1 is coupled by the directional coupler to detector B. As we know, S11 is defined as the ratio of the reflected and incident powers. Therefore, the S11 is proportional to the ratio of the powers detected by B and A. The portion of the signal at port 1 continues through the dot to port 2, where it interfaces with another coupler and couples to detector D. According to the S21 definition, it can be determined as the ratio of transmitted power detected by D and incident power detected by A. For measurements of S22 and S12, the switch position is changed, directing the generated signal into port 2, as will be illustrated next. Now, Focusing on the scenario where the signal is injected into port 2. The generated signal traverses a switch and encounters a power divider, which equally splits the signal between its arms. One arm of the power divider contains a variable attenuator to adjust the power level, while the other arm connects to a detector, referred to as detector C. Subsequently, the signal from the upper arm proceeds through a coupler and interacts with port 2, where the device under test is connected. The reflected signal from port 2 is coupled by the directional coupler to detector D. We know that S22 is defined as the ratio of the reflected and incident powers. Therefore, the S22 parameter is proportional to the ratio of the powers detected by D and C. The portion of the signal at port 2 continues through the dot to port 1, where it interfaces with another coupler and couples to detector B. According to the S12 definition, it can be determined as the ratio of transmitted power detected by B and incident power detected by C. We appreciate your time. Your support means a lot to us. Please take a moment to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content. At Quaxis, we deliver top-notch content, offering exceptional courses, books, articles, and expert insights. Stay ahead in your field, distinguish yourself with our hands-on certified courses, and elevate both your knowledge and value in the job market. Join our journey of success and register for one of our transformative courses today.